your mind back to the autumn of 2015 and you might just remember how Intel and Micron were claiming that their new memory technology, 3D crosspoint memory, would revolutionise computer storage, potentially replacing both NAND in SSDs and DRAM in system memory. For those of you who can't remember, 3D crosspoint is so exciting because it addresses the downsides of NAND and DRAM. For example, Whilst NAND is thousands of times faster than an HDD, is non-volatile, so retains data when the power is cut, and is much cheaper than DRAM, it has limited endurance and is much slower than DRAM. In contrast, whilst DRAM is much faster than NAND and has, for all intents and purposes, unlimited endurance, it's much less dense and so is more expensive. And it's volatile, so it loses data when the power's cut. In contrast, 3D Crosspoint stores data in individually accessible cells that are formed from an array of cells that are written to via a change in voltage. So unlike NAND, it doesn't have to refresh a whole page of memory, even if just a single bit is being written. As a result, 3D Crosspoint has much lower latency and greater endurance than NAND. While 3D Crosspoint has yet to make it into DIMMs, the first Intel SSDs using the new memory technology are now available and are known as the Optane 900P series. The initial lineup comprises three models, two half-height 4x PCIe cards and a 2.5-inch U.2 drive. This table highlights the key specs of the new Intel Optane 900P SSDs versus the Samsung 960 Pro, the most popular high-end NAND SSD on the market at the moment. The specs reveal some intriguing differences between the Optane 900P and the 960 Pro. To start with, the 960 Pro has a significantly faster sequential transfer rate, although you need to be careful comparing numbers from different manufacturers, as they don't always specify the conditions under which performance was measured. For example, SSD manufacturers use very high queue depths and block sizes, as this generates very high transfer rates. One of the key selling points of 3D Crosspoint is its lower latency than NAND, and Intel's claim of 10 microseconds is pretty gobsmacking. Unfortunately, Samsung doesn't publish latency numbers for the 960 Pro, but to put the 900p's 10 microseconds into context, Intel's own fastest NVMe NAND drive, the 750, has a latency of 20 microseconds, whilst one of its fastest SATA NAND drive, the 525, has a latency of 80 microseconds, both of which are significantly slower than the 900p. What's more, NAND SSDs also suffer from additional latency, as writes are buffered, whereas the 900p starts writing data straight away. The specs also show that whilst both drives have a 5-year warranty, there's an enormous difference in the endurance rating. This number is the total amount of data that can be written to a drive before the cells wear out, and in this instance shows one of the key benefits of 3D Crosspoint over NAND, with the Optane 900P having over a thousand percent more endurance than the 960 Pro. Whilst this amount of endurance is arguably overkill and unnecessary for a typical gaming PC, if you're doing content creation work such as editing videos and graphics, then a high endurance drive will be of benefit. To see how all those tech specs translate into real-world performance, we benchmarked the new Intel Optane 900P SSD head-to-head -head with some of the most popular drives on the market. The other drives on test were the aforementioned 512GB Samsung 960 Pro SSD, 500GB Samsung 850 Evo SSD and a 2TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive. All the cards were tested in one of our 3XS gaming PCs, which you can see the full spec of on screen now. The first benchmark that we ran was the synthetic storage application Crystal Dismark. The first two sets of results are run with a transfer size of 128K, Q depth of 32 and single thread, with the 960 Pro posting the best read by far and the 900p the fastest write by a small margin. These results are interesting and pretty much mirror the marketing specs of each drive, but almost no desktop applications or games operate in this way, so these numbers aren't really indicative of real-world performance. More on this later. The second scenario in Crystal Dismark drops the transfer size down to 4K, although the Q depth of 32 is still extremely high. Even so, this more strenuous test really begins to separate the men from the boys, with the 900p taking clear first place in both the read and write tests, with a clear 20% lead over the 960 Pro. 
The final scenario test we ran in Crystal Dismark kept the transfer rate at 4K but dropped the queue depth to 1, simulating how many games load data when starting up. Under these conditions, the 900p was the clear winner when reading, transferring data at a ludicrous 522% faster than the 960 Pro. The results were closer when writing, but even so, the 900p was still a massive 43% faster than the 960 Pro. We also ran the storage test that formed part of the SPEC WPC benchmark that's used to measure the performance of workstations. The storage test in SPEC WPC use a trace of different applications, which are then simulated by the iometer utility across four different application types. In all four application sites, the 900p turned in by far the best results, with over a 300% performance lead against the 960 Pro, let alone the other drives. These are important benchmarks for the 900p to perform well in, as one of the main target markets of Optane SSDs is workstations, so it's great to see the drive excelling at these workloads. As the 900p turned in a mixed set of results in the synthetic Crystal Dismark benchmark, with some great and some middling results, we also wanted to see if it could accelerate loading games. The two games we tested were chosen because they have huge data sets and so were a big challenge for any storage device. As shown by the snore inducing time, it took the hard disk to load both games. What we discovered is that pretty much all SSDs take the same amount of time to load games. Sure, the more expensive 900p and 960 Pro were a bit faster than the 850 Evo, but less than a handful of seconds isn't enough of a difference to get too excited about. It's great to see SSDs using 3D Crosspoint finally making their way onto the market, as the hype around this new memory technology was enormous a couple of years ago. The benchmarks for the new Intel Optane 900p SSD paint an interesting picture, and one that needs to be carefully evaluated. For instance, in commonly used synthetic tests with huge queue depths, the 900p is faster at writing but slower at reading than the market-leading high-end NAND SSD, the Samsung 960 Pro. However, at the lower queue depths that most desktop applications use, the 900p is much faster than the 960 Pro, so it really depends on what you use your PC for. Digging deeper, the SPEC WPC benchmarks gave the 900p a massive lead over the 960 Pro, showing that for workstation applications there really is a big difference in performance between the drives. On the other hand, the 900p was only marginally faster at loading games than the 960 Pro. At the time of making this video, the 900p will set you back £1.12 per gigabyte, whereas the 960 Pro costs 58p per gigabyte. So clearly you're being asked to pay a significant premium for 3D crosspoint memory. In terms of pure performance, that premium makes it hard to justify buying a 900p for a gaming PC unless you've already maxed out every other component in your PC, as upgrading the CPU or GPU is likely to make more of an appreciable difference. That said, if you're specking up your dream PC, then a 900p should clearly be at the top of your list. For workstations, the 900p is more compelling, especially when you consider that 3D Crosspoint has such amazing endurance that you'll be able to get more use out of the drive compared to a conventional NAND-based SSD. These same characteristics make the 900p really interesting for servers, although the 280 and 480 gigabyte capacity is rather limiting. Still, we're sure that Intel have bigger 3D crosspoint drives on the way. In the meantime, the Optane 900p, if you can afford it, is the new king of performance SSDs. You can check out the Intel Optane 900p and all the other products mentioned in this video at scan.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Leave us a like and share your feedback in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next tech spec video.